Hi, I'm Shondell, and I'm here with Olia Casey, working on 86th film. How are you, Olia? Okay. How are you? Excellent. So what do you like most about being part of the 86th project? You know, I think this project really has soul. It's got a really good character, and people that are working on it are just amazing group of people, and they're really de dedicated and really devoted to the project, and that's what gives it like really good personality. So, so what do you like most about being an actress? I guess we all like to act from time to time, you know, just yeah. to express different sides of our own personalities. And, um, you know, it's, it's nice to be somebody else for a day. Yeah, too. sometimes. Yeah. What is the cheapest pickup line you've ever heard? Oh, God. There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't think of one right now. No, no, no you must have fell just, from heaven because you're an angel. No. Yeah, I mean, I get, <laughs> I get like, you should give me a number or whatever. It's like, I should? <laughs> it's an order. It's a I command. Mean, tell me what else I should do. They're hypnotizing. Right. <laughs> What's the hardest part about you being an actress? Um, the hardest part is probably just understanding the character. Once you understand the character, that's easy. Like, once you know who that character is and what you're supposed to be mm -hmm. and what they're going through, it's it's quite easy. But it's just trying to really understand and get the vision and make sure your vision is the same as the director's vision and yeah. everybody else's. So You like sweethearts or bad boys? Hmm. The right answer would probably be sweethearts. We don't want the right answer. But <laughs> <laughs> we want the true answer. Um, Probably a good combination of both. Yeah. Yeah. What's the most important thing your parents ever said to you? Um, I think what I really appreciate about my parents is they never tried to hold me back. They just said, go for it, do whatever you want to do, because I chose quite an unusual path to follow. So they just said, go ahead, you can do it. Yeah. Are you sure? So I'm sure. <laughs> What do you like about working with Christian Purdy? Um, everything. Everything? Yeah. It's really, That's no, really like, I know he's right there, but no pressure. Your text's <laughs> already in the mail. It's good. No, he's, he's just a really cool person all around, really easy to talk to, really easy to get along with, and just really easy to communicate with, mm -hmm. So, which is important, I think, especially mm -hmm. when you're trying to get on the same page. Yeah. Do you like to party all night, or do you think the early bird catches the worm? I don't get up early, even if I don't party all night. <laughs> um, I'm a night owl. I stay up and write music and do God knows what. Yeah. God knows what? <laughs> yeah. Does God want to know what it is? Um, I don't know. No? <laughs> sometimes not, sometimes. So when you stay up all night partying, let's say you stay up till tomorrow, 4 o'clock a.m. sometime, would you rather have cold pizza or Chinese takeout? Chinese takeout. Why? Just personal preference. I okay. Guess. <laughs> as long as it's not cold Chinese takeout. It's all cold. Oh. I'll just have water then. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you were gonna go out, would you want your bad boy to wear a suit and tie? Or would you want like jeans and a t-shirt? I like jeans and a blazer. Jeans and a, so you get the best of both worlds. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Um, I don't really have one favorite one. One that always makes me smile is Love Actually. Because, yeah. you know, it's really about people and just really shows human nature and different kind of love that there is in life. And I think it's all about love, really. Yeah. You know, for your friends, for your parents, for your children, for each other, whatever. So that movie always makes me smile. But I don't have one favorite one. I mean, there's a, f a few that I like to rewatch. Some I never want to see again. <laughs> <laughs> what about favorite actor or actress? Um, there's a few that I really respect that I think are really great at portraying different characters. Just their um, range of acting. Um, like, I think um, Nicole Kidman is a really great actress. Mm -hmm. Like, just the range of characters that she has played over the years is amazing, how she can transform herself. Um, 
some people, like, I wouldn't say that they're, like, my, fa my favorite actors, but I can see how they can do comedy and action or whatever. Like, somebody mm. like The Rock, you know, I admire right. that. I admire that, and I, I mean, I'd love to be able to do that myself. And he you kicks know? ass, too. Right. <laughs> Yeah, not, not, not too, not too, not too hard on the eyes either. Yeah, not at all. Yeah, so you know, I just really respect when people have versatility and and you know, just go for it. They're not afraid to do comedy. They're not afraid to do action or learn something for you know a character. So. Yeah. So if you were going to be a superhero, heroine, mm -hmm. would you? What kind of superpower would you want to have? Oh God. Um, <laughs> Um, never age. <laughs> never age? No. I like that superpower. Can we put it in a bottle? Uh, I'd sell it. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. I probably would like to be invisible and walk through the walls and know what's going on, <laughs> what other people are saying. Invisibility is super popular these days. Yes. <laughs> we are talking to Alia. She is on the 86th Project.